What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Edward Pierre, and we back at it again with another reaction video. You feel me? And look, man, I had to react to this early in the morning because last night I KO'd. And I'm going to be real, I caught the second half of this game, and we got some things to talk about. First of all, shout out Pittsburgh Steelers and the Steeler Nation, man. It was a whole controversy going on this whole week about quarterback starting position. Um, a lot of people did not like the fact that Russell Wilson was being considered to start throughout the week. Um, I'm pretty sure they put that to bed. Uh, for me personally, I liked it. You know, I've always thought when they picked up Russell Wilson and then got Justin Fields, Justin Fields, that was never his starting job to begin with. That's me personally. I always felt like it was Russell Wilson's job. But while he was hurt and being that Justin Fields was, you know, not losing the games, you know, you, you know, you can be patient with Russell Wilson. You know, he is older. You know, he is probably him and Aaron Rodgers are probably the two oldest quarterbacks in the league right now outside of Joe Flacco. You feel what I'm saying? So we got some of the most experienced quarterbacks here going up against each other. I think, you know, they both bring two different dynamics to the game. Uh, with Russell Wilson, you got somebody who's in complete command, uh, command, complete control, like literally complete control. And as watching the game yesterday, you can tell. I mean, I'm talking about he gets to the line, it's just quiet. Hey, hey, what's to do? What's we do? We, hey, 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 uh, uh, green, 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 yellow, yellow, yellow. Highway 68, highway 68. Hey, Najee, watch the blitz, watch the blitz. Like he's in full control. Full control. And I'm talking about you can expand the playbook with a veteran like Russell Wilson. I mean, you really can. I feel like with Russell Wilson, a team will have more trust and faith in him, out, unlike they will with Justin Fields. And that's no disrespect to Justin Fields. Just look at the resumes. Russell Wilson is established. Justin Fields is still question marks. Only thing we question with, with Russell Wilson is, is his age. And he can't move. He can't run. But there's a lot of guys that can't run. I mean, Tom Brady could never run. You know what I mean? He could never run. Um, I mean, I, and I personally like a quarterback who can sit in the pocket and make every throw. Uh, Jets, man. I mean, wait, this is Devontae Adams' home, uh, not homecoming, his debut. Uh, rekindling with Aaron Rodgers. Uh, to me personally, man, I just think the Jets is a bad team. I, I if you ask me, man, like they got a good roster, but I think Aaron Rodgers holding him back, man. I think his he, he's his time is 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 has came. Uh, I I feel like they just need to lean on that running game. I mean, Brees Hall is a monster. Just give him the rock. I don't know if it's an offensive line issue, play calling issue. I always felt like Robert Sala wasn't the guy to fire. I always felt like it was more so on that offensive end. Um, but hey, Jets, uh, this is tough. I mean, beginning of the season, everybody talking about Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Aaron Rodgers back and healthy, Garrett Wilson, Sauce Gardner, Quentin Williams, the Williams brothers, Mike Williams, they added, Lazard, they added, you got Brees Hall back there, you got a rookie running back, Allen, who looks promising. How Robert Sala coached, you know, prior to his firing. You know, it was a lot of hype behind the scene. You know, again, that's just the media hyping everybody up. But realistically, you know, this team isn't playing like you would just think when you look on paper. Like, oh, snap, this team loaded. Wish they are, but they're not playing like it, man. Man, let's get right into the video. I've been talking, but I had to give my quick soliloquy on the game. I seen the second half. I didn't see the first. Uh, but the Steelers, man, this is a legit team. This is a legit team. This this team, it just it is this it's elite. This is an elite team. Defense elite. This team is le legit. I mean, you got a, a hard nosed running back in Najee Harris. You got a, a receiver in, in um uh, uh Pickens who showed that he can kind of get busy on one of the best DBs in the game. You know, Sauce Garner. You know, it was one in the back of the end zone when he hit that comeback. It was just, you know, it was, it was just a little. The timing was off with the quarterback and the receiver. But, I mean, he showed that he can get open against top guys. You know, he showed that he can make big-time catches. Austin showed what he can do as a slot. And, you know, as being that under underneath guy. You know, Fire you, you we see what type of tight end he is. He can block. He can catch. 
Then you got Washington who can do the same thing, that rookie from last year. And then there's no need to question the defense. I mean, you got 25 out there just tackling really well. You got Minka doing his thing. You know, you got the you got High Smith on one side, you got White on the other side. You got the, the 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 DBs trading for Dante Jackson. Then you got second year Joey Porter who got the length and the size. I mean, this team is legit. I mean, then you got an experienced head coach and Mike T. Man, this team is not a team to sleep on, especially with the addition and the, and the and, and the integration of Russell Wilson into the lineup. Man, this this is different. This is tough. And and I'm glad he came out here and played good because a lot of people. It was just the talk of the. It was the talk of the town. It was the talk of the town. It was every. Episode of ESPN every single day, they talking about some Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, and to me it's not a question. It's not a question, and that's no disrespect to Justin Fields. And if you know me, you know I'm not too big of a, a running quarterback. You feel me? I think Russell Wilson had two touchdowns thrown this one game. Justin Fields has five so far, and we're in game six or game seven. Justin Fields has five passing touchdowns in seven weeks of football. Russell Wilson has two in his one game, I believe. Shout out Russell Wilson. Let's get it. Shout out to Silla Nation, man. Thank you for making my TED Talk. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, man. I'm going to roll the two bands. Here we go. And I, it's, bro, it's a lot to really say because even when, if, when you open up that passing game, it opens up the running game. And especially if the running game is going crazy, oh, the t you got the team in the chokehold. Because if you can threaten the team downfield, the, the, you know, the, the team, they can no longer just press up. They can no longer just sit in that box like you can with a guy who you know that's not going to see downfield or make those or take the deep shots down the field. Chris Boswell, hey, look, and this is the last time I'm pausing, I promise. What takes the Steelers over the top for me is that special teams, man. They have two blocks today. One was called back, but it was a block. They showed the special teams coordinator. He's been there since 2022. He's been there since 2022. The camaraderie. Everybody's bought in. Look at the defense. Just on them. To look at the Steeler Nation, bro. Oh my gosh, Steeler Nation going stupid right now. Oh, they going stupid. Shout out my uncle Mike, man. He's still a fan. Seen him earlier yesterday with the Mika Fitzpatrick jersey. On. Oh, I told you I didn't see the first half, so I didn't see that. You got to make that catch. Then how can I forget about Warren, man? I mean, bro, the team is stacked. The team has a really good roster. Second in the league in points allowed. Rogers. Brees Hall. Brees Hall. You got to give Brees Hall the ball a lot more, man. I'm giving him the ball at least 18 times a game. I'm going to be honest. I'm giving him the ball. I'm running the ball at least 18 times a game. That's a nice matchup. Tay Adams. Joey Porter. It's a nice little matchup for Joey. There we go, Brees. That's what Brees is good at too, man. I mean, when you get Brees, you get... He's like a Le'Veon Bell, bro. To me personally, he's like a Le'Veon Bell. And Le'Veon Bell is one of the best running backs that we've ever we've ever watched. You know what I'm saying? As far as just his running style. Ah. That's my boy Dante missing that tackle. There we go, Brees. There we go, Brees. There we go, Brees. I didn't know my boy Breeze got in the end zone. Let's go. Believe, yes. No signal. The official over there. Yeah, big fan of Breeze Hall, man. That, I just think they gotta feed him the rock a lot more. I'm giving him I'm giving him the ball at least 18 and 20 times a game, bro. You don't know. Rush it. Is he gonna hand that off or is he gonna throw it to Look at the patience. receiver side? And what nice. we've seen out of Hall is when he gets a chance to put that foot in the ground. Going downfield. Towards Pickens. One handed. That's a flag, too. I mean, what's up? Who is 26? Look at the pocket. 
keeping the play alive and fires on the run. Out of the back of the end zone. Willis Waitman, the holder. Christian Coots, the snapper out of Duquesne. He still thinks the world up. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers underneath. Devontae Adams gained him a dozen on a first down to the 40 yard line. And he's been on the field for every snap, Devontae, so far. Second and six for Rodgers. I think I think the uh, Jets can end their season off. Oh my gosh, Breeze. Breeze. Oh my. Yo, Breeze. Yo, my boy. Oh. Breeze Hall. Yo, feed the beast. Why are we not running the ball here? It's all good. It's in the end zone. In the end zone on the touchdown pass from Rodgers. Going for two. And Rodgers going to try to throw for it inside and gets the two with Garrett Wilson. And the Jets take a nine-point lead. Huge call there. That's him. That's that special team scoring right there. Point lead. Huge call there. In any way. So the Jets have a play action. Russell Wilson to work. Nice. Beautiful Russ. Nice block too. Look at the fight, bro. That is just a mentality thing for the Pittsburgh Steelers, man, is to keep fighting, keep pushing. Third and 24. Don't know how this happened. Catch Pickens third and 24. They don't get all the yards. They lost back. The late throwdown has the Steeler fans. Looking for that flag. Second seven. Ooh, great pass. Great catch. And the catch right at the 40 yard line. Second and a long four. Get spread it out. Highsmith came around the edge. Ooh. Oh, that's a pick. Long four. Did it, was it a pick or did he just take it out of his hands? Oh no, that's a pick. Yeah, he caught that. Yeah, that's a great interception by 31. Russell Wilson got there in great field position. With his dad, Sean Jefferson, watching on the other side. Jets receivers coach. First down. To the 43. Got 32 seconds. You're right here in front of the end zone. Throwing a fade up top. Nice. Look at the hands by Pickens. Hey, hey. And I think we're going to see a, like Pickens flourish a lot more now with the quarterback like Russell Wilson. Boom. Because this is a pass right here. You got to have you got to have great touch. It's a little behind him. It's a little behind him. You know, uh, you know, it's a little bit behind him, but you know, a receiver like Pickens, I mean, he makes it easy and keeps the ball away from the. That's what happens when you catch with your hands. A lot of receivers try to catch with their body. This is what separates, you know, players. Doom, keep the ball away, cause you know the first thing the DB gonna do is turn. It. You know, you gotta have the strong hands. You gotta have strong hands and forearms. Nice, look at him, strong hands. He reminds me of a Stephon Diggs, bro. He reminds me of a Stephon Diggs. I like I like Pickens' game a lot. Now I'm a little bit more familiar with this part of the game. Um, I seen that second half from a certain point. Um, but man, I, I just I just want to know how Steelers fans feel about the switch now, before and after, <laughs> before and after. He was getting pressured by the, the media didn't like it at all. They did not like it at all. I like it. Nice right up. Oh, oh, oh my look you oh my look you see what the concentration by the dude picking. I will say this, you gotta you gotta lead him a little bit more, Wilson. You gotta lead him a little bit more, but taking the shot is what matters, man. You know, I, I don't see Justin taking shots like this. I don't I don't think that Justin will think he's open right here. But it's, it's 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 pretty behind him, you know. Usually this can be a pi, you know. It wasn't too too much up, uh, behind him where it would draw a flag. But Wilson, you gotta lead this. You gotta pass this ball like to right here, like right around this area right here or right here. But great concentration, man. Seriously, no matter what 
contact was going on, the main focus of Pickens was still that football. Look, Devontae Adams couldn't even believe it. He said, man, what? Oh, he's going right back to float over the top. Nice. One-handed from you. When I was watching this live, like I'm like, yo, this team locked in. I didn't see the, none of the first half. I'm just looking like, yo, these guys are locked in. Look at this hard run on first down. Right after a one-handed catch, a hard run on first down. Here we go, third and goal. Wilson, clean pocket. Ah. Should have been a touchdown and brought in ball. Then you got Chris Boswell, who's one of the best kickers in the NFL. Three for three on the night, 19 of 20. Steelers is a dangerous team. Dangerous team. Clean pocket. Boom. Boom. Oh my God. Beady Bishop trying to take it back to the house. Nice block, 12. Get off me. Look at the dive. <laughs> Look at the dive by Tay Adams. Tay Adams said, no, sir. Looking like Superman. Look how far he though. Hey! Imagine if he didn't. It's like he, he pressed square quick. Let's get in there, Russ. Yeah, we got the battle of the old men. We got Aaron Rodgers going up against Russell Wilson. Battle of the old men arguably could be their last year in the NFL. Hey! My boy Mike T. Carrying the ball, protecting himself. He's in there. Connor Hayward behind, and there is Aaron Rodgers. You're down. You're down. Aaron Rodgers. You're down. Complete to the 46-yard line, and Alan Lazard on the first down grab. He comes out for a moment. Mike Williams in the game for the Jets. Give it to my boy Breeze. Cut. Nice. Nice. His acceleration, man, he be moving. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Rogers over the middle. It's caught by Mike Williams for the first down at the 17-yard line. Empty again for the Jets. Third and ten. Going for the fade. Great defense by Porter, man. Not pushing him out of bounds, but using his big frame, his big side, using that sideline as 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 teamwork, man. Look at the special teams, bro. This was their second. And what I love about this team, bro, and the highlight's not going to show it, which I don't know why because it's a highlight team personally. First of all, this is their second block. The first one didn't count as a flag. I don't know why it was a flag, but it really wasn't a flag in real life. Um, after this block here, man, you can just see the passion behind the team because, one, look. Coach into it. Coach sees, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Special team, any any rocking some drip. You feel Um, But they ran up to the special teams coordinator and gave him so much love. Man, I'm like, yo, who is that? He, he, oh, so this, yeah, yeah. And they, that's when they show he's been there since 2022. Uh, he's been there for a while. You know what I'm saying? He's been there for some time. Or was it 2022 or 2002? I think it was 2022 or 2012. It was something like that. But he's been there for a little while, man. And camaraderie's there, and uh, he's he's shown, you know, why he's probably the best special teams coordinator in the game. You feel what I'm saying? You know, I just love, I just love the love this team has, man. This team, they play together. They play for their coaches. You know, they everyone bought in. I mean, that's you got that's coaching, bro. Najee, cut it up to the outside. Look at Najee. Hey. And there was a couple runs with Najee, like. They called, they blew the whistle before he was even down. He could have kept going. Nice, easy. Van Jefferson. That's three total touchdowns on a day for Russ. One rushing, two in the air. Get a little help from your friends out here. Great play call as well. Whatever you want to call it. Make that corner bounce mm -hmm. over the top. Like a pick. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Fires in the middle, complete to Lazard at the 47-yard line. Patrick Queen. I keep forgetting about Patrick Queen. Ten minutes in regulation. Rodgers on the slant. Goes off the run, taking off. 
Did I fall asleep to that? I don't remember that play. Bro, them Dion cleats is so clean, bro. Like the drip, bro, with the arm sleeve and then the Dion's, the all black. That's tough, Joey. Clean, bro. Them Dion cleats, they taking over. Dunk. 25. Elliot. Yeah. Fourth and four, Brees Hall's bottom of the street. Rogers at the line of scrimmage, man. This team is just playing hard. Play action, second and ten. Going downfield, wide open. Calvin turning on the Jets. Still playing hard. Still a lot of time left on the clock, man. Let's get in his end zone. Third and four. Look at the total yards. Look at the fight. Look at the fight. Look at the fight. Look, he's not even on the, <laughs> he's not even on the ground anymore. They literally pushed him. Look, that's his feet right there. No longer on the ground. No longer on the ground. And I like I like the I, I like the fight of this team, man. It's, it's the mentality thing, man. Look, get off of him. And then right here, uh, see the highlights not gonna show the extended version. To the 18 yard line. Well, I tell you, if Cam Hayward can stay healthy and play the way that he's been playing with TJ on the other side and Highsmith, it's a good looking team. Najee Harris on the run into the Najee. Najee give you a smooth five yards of pop going on fourth and second. It doesn't, you know, might as well. Might as well. Might as well. Might as well get an end zone. Might as well. Might as well. Look at this. Look at Let's go! Look at the team chemistry. The crowd is loving it. They're into it. Steelers Nation is probably the hype it has been for the shit. It's probably one of the most hypest game as a Steelers for the Steelers Nation this season. They was all in the news about quarterback controversy, but they stayed locked in. You feel what I mean? They stayed locked in. A Jets defense. They are a dangerous team. It's nothing y'all can do with 26 seconds left. Just take a knee. Shout out that man right there, Russ. Shout out that man right there, Russ. Shout out Breeze. You my guy too, but y'all lost. Let me get you off my screen, my guy. Yes, sir. My boy Russ, he had to get his eyebrows right. You feel me? He said, hold on. You feel me? Shout out to the Steelers, man. As I said in the very beginning, this is a tough team. I mean, this is not a team to take lightly. You feel me? Um, I don't think they have... I can't really identify too many weaknesses they may have. You know, um, for me personally, I, if y'all could squeeze in another receiver on the back end, um, that, would be, that would be crazy. That would be nice. But if not, you know, I think y'all be all right. Farm Youth, you know, he's a big, big target in my personal opinion. You know, you got running backs who can catch out the backfield as well. Um, but I just think about, you know, teams, if they try to double, you know, if it gets to that point where they may have to double coverage on um, George, who you know, who's going to be the other guy that you can really target. Uh, maybe Van Jefferson. I know he had a good game in this game, but can that be a season-long thing? Who, who knows? I don't know. But the Steelers moved to 5-2. and two. That division is getting close tight. I mean, is 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 like that. You know what I mean? You got Cincinnati, who's who's trying to make that creep. You know, they they slowly but surely creeping in. You know, um, you know, uh, Ravens. I think they're also five and two, four and two right now. And then here, Pittsburgh, five and two. So didn't expect the Pittsburgh Steelers to be playing like this at all this season. To be honest with you, but I love it. I love the fact that they are. Uh, Jets, man, it's not too late for them to turn it around. Um, they can definitely go on a streak, but me personally, I don't. I think Aaron has passed his time. I, I think he's had a great career. Um, just the team just seems off, man. The team just seems off. Is it, it's still reason fifteen points? You know, is on the board right now. They should leave at least half. You know, twenty one at least. I mean, this is a high powered offense. You got a lot of weapons, but I, I think it's. I think Aaron just passed his time, man. You know, it's a lot of expectation because of the name, and we get it. But, you know, 
Everyone can't play to a high level at an older age. You know what I mean? Everybody's not Tom. You know what I mean? Shout out to Tom. Shout out to uh, Aaron. You know, he's still one of the best to do it for sure. Um, but look, man, if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you for that lady for that. Do me a huge favor. that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, other than that, man, you already know what it is. Y'all be easy. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day. It's boy, DP. I'm signing out, man.